Hey guys, Ryan here with the second video for today in the LHM TV British Light Tank. I'm going to be able to do with Curtis again. He's going to be in his Roger Dodger rear on Kaunas. Or Kaunas. Again, I've no idea how you pronounce this place. I don't even know where it is um, in the world or where it's based. Um, but this game is going to be top tier. And I'm going to be... I don't know if I'm completely stock. I may have like tracks like track upgrades or an engine upgrade I don't know but I still have the stock gun with the about 150 alpha or whatever it is or 175 alpha I can't remember what the alpha is um, and the good news about this tank is could the British Lights have such nice guns even the stock gun still has 180 standard pen which is pretty decent to be fair I can deal with 180 standard pen I'm pretty sure 180 standard pen might actually be more than some of the other tier 8 light tanks have on their fully upgraded guns. So, again, I can't complain. Um, and actually, I, I remember now, this game, you, I think you actually might even see at the end, I actually unlock the XP to unlock the top gun. So, this is the last game I had with the stock gun. And right now, I'm just going to try and do spotting things. With an LTTB, who I do not want to run into, um, on the enemy team, and there's a Lycan, who also I don't want to get into a gunfight with at close range. Because they will both wreck you. That's the thing about British Lights. Their guns are really nice. Especially for panning heavy tanks and mediums and just doing reliable damage. But, they are not good for one-on-ones against anything, especially other light tanks. So you need to keep your distance and make sure you don't let an enemy light tank get too close. Right, I'm just going to jump in this bush. Let's see if I can do some passive scouting. Now, be going to the OMP trying to make it up the one line. And I'm waiting for him, waiting for him, and I'm going to start shooting. Standard round loaded, penning a big hundred OMP in the side. Going to fire another shot, but the light tank and mediums across the way are going to spot me. But I do pen the uh, VK again. And now I'm just going to try and get sneaky shots in using the tank's gun depression. T69 spotted across the way. Going to try and aim for the tracks, but I've got low alpha damage, so... Um, blowing tracks off is not this tank's strong suit. T69 drops down. And now, as always, when you're playing World Tanks, you want to keep an eye on the map. Look where our team is. Well, my team is. Most of them over at the... Um, southeastern side of the map. Now, I get a shot inside the LTTB. And now, the enemy seem to have a bit of an advantage in the north here. So I'm going to try and, like, sneak some more shots in. And I don't want to leave until absolutely necessary. I want to try and help these guys as long as I can. But, look at the map. The LTTB has had enough of my shenanigans and is coming in. Now, I'm hoping any of the tanks in front of me might turn around to help out a little bit. Just get one shot in, that's all I need to do. Because the LTTB massively out-DPMs me. And he's, he can outmaneuver me as well. He's got two shots in me, I've hit him out three times. He's going to retreat, I'm going to get one last shot in. And now, our team's getting overrun. I need to leave. Um... I do have an XP boost active this game, because again, I was trying to get to the top gun. And I'm just auto-locking the Pantera. And I'm going to get a couple shots in on him. Shots are flying over my head. The enemies have won the northern side of the map, so as you can see, running away was the right option. And I'm going to use this raucous cover from the enemies to my right to sneak shots into the back of that Pantera who isn't paying attention to me. Going to wait for one more. He's going to start turning for me. And again, the north side of the map is gone. The enemies are probably pushing down here. I'm going to retreat and try and catch up with the rest of my team. Don't have a fight by myself. Move him. Going to auto-lock the Pantera on the way by to see if I can hit him. And again, well, that, that shot was free aim, but the next one's going to be auto-lock. And as you can see, the gun's been really reliable for me so far. Again, the rate of fire isn't the best, especially in the Alpha, but... As long as you play well, you position yourself well, you don't get too close, you can make that work. Now the other 
actual tank on this side of the map. The artillery's still alive. The only other actual tank is dead. So again, all I'm going to do is I'm going to try and help these guys deal with these lot. And then if I, we can deal with these lot, then they can turn around and help me with my guys. Shaska's on low health. One shot and... Two shot. Finish him. And now I was going to run over to them. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to attempt to get up this hill just to keep them spotted. Or there's no thought of that yet, but I'm going to think a lot. Here we go, gonna reverse up, transport the other guys. The mean tank's just been spotted. Heavy spotted at the back, near our artillery. And I'm gonna try and get the gun to press and to shoot this Carnarvon. But unfortunately I can't quite get it. Now again, I wanna keep some distance, I'm gonna move. And I'm actually going to get to such a distance where I won't get spotted when I shoot. And then I'm just going to try and support them. And that's what this light is for. Once you're stopped spotting. Because you can't do quite a good spotting job in this because the camel's really good. Once you're done spotting, use the gun for supporting fire. Get a nice shot into the turret of the T-69. I do a premium load at this point. But again, I'm after XP. So I don't mind firing the gold rounds with it. Now I'm going to start moving again. To a new position because it's not looking particularly great over there and i'm getting ready to run to that one remaining heavy tank now there's a couple trees here which is actually quite nice um for shooting through without getting spotted and you're gonna see the emules up there the canarvin is coming over and as he comes over i'm gonna use the tree to get shots in without getting spotted but one of the other enemies pops up from a different angle and does spot me as i shoot I'm gonna start weaving. And time for me to go and try and help the T32 on our team. Now he's fighting a freedom, which is not ideal because he's got very good armor, but as long as he makes sure he doesn't turn his armor towards me, we should be fine. Unfortunately, T32 is driving this way, making the freedom turn his armor, and then he keeps stopping in front of him. I'm assuming to try and make him miss the shot, but unfortunately all he does is he dies with the freedom facing me. Which is obviously means I can't pan him. Which isn't ideal. Now, there's artillery around here, but I'm going to try and stay moving quickly and uh, weaving to try and avoid it. And, I mean, he doesn't hit me directly, but thankfully the very inaccurate uh, artillery um, only does 400 damage or so. Um, coming around, going to auto-lock. Get a pan. The auto-lock on the British light is actually quite decent, to be fair. Come around, freedom gets shot on me, guy behind me gets shot on me. But overall, a good game for me, and what you're going to see is, I actually got the most damage on both teams in a stock light tank, and that's what British light tank guns can do if you position yourself well. 2800 damage, one kill, and a nice game. So thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.